So welcome to part four of how to solve the five by five Rubik's cube. In part three, I explain the basic idea of how to match all of the edges of the cube, just like this one. This green and white edge is completely matched because notice how all three edge pieces are green and white. And in, in part three, I explain the basic idea. And the basic idea works for most of the matching. However, once you match most of the edges and you get to the end of the step, you start running into a few problems that make it a little bit more difficult. So in this video, I'm going to explain all of the problems that you might run into at the end of this step. All right, so let's get started. There's three problems that you might run into, um, and this is problem number one. Uh, in this example, I'm going to match this green and orange uh, with these two green and orange edge pieces right here. So everything is already set up perfectly for us because this piece has the opposite orientation of the middle edge piece. This one has orange on the top, this one has green on the top, so that's good. Um, also, too, this is in the, in the right layer. So this is positioned perfectly, it's orientated perfectly. So I can match this piece pretty easily with these. However, when we bring it to the top layer, there's no unmatched pair to replace it with, and that's our second step. We need to replace it with an unmatched pair. So before I do that, I want to make sure that there's an unmatched pair on the top layer. So I, what I like to do is I usually like to rotate this back, the, rotate this back side of the cube. Um, so now we have a unmatched pair that's on the top of the cube that we can re, that we're going to use after we match these. So this will make more sense once we get started with this. Um, so once again, our first step is for matching this green and orange with this green and orange is I'm just going to bring it, rotate the bottom layer, and match it with the other green and orange edge pieces. After we do that, we've screwed up the center, so we're going to have to fix that later on. But, um, so, but now we're going to bring these orange and green edge pieces that we just matched to the top layer of the cube. Then our next step is going to replace the two edge pieces that we just matched. We need to replace them with the unmatched pair. So this is the unmatched pair that I brought up before. So now we can use these two unmatched pairs to replace these two that we just matched. So I'm going to rotate the top side clockwise. And now these two unmatched pair took the place of these two match pair. All right, after we do that, we can bring this unmatched pair back down to the front. And then at this point, the only thing we have to do is just fix the centers. So I'm gonna bring this red center back over. And now we have completely matched these orange and green um, edge pieces. And that's the basic idea for the first problem that you might run into when you are trying to match your edge pieces. So let's move on to problem number two. So here we have an example of problem number two. Problem number two occurs when there's only two edge pieces that are not matched. Notice how this edge piece, this orange and yellow edge piece, and this orange and blue edge piece these are the only two edge pieces on the entire cube that are not matched. Um, you can't really see the entire cube, but just trust me. Uh, these two edge pieces are the only pieces on the entire cube that are not matched. So whenever this occurs, it's impossible to have an unmatched pair on the top layer. So this is what we call this is what we call parity. Uh, whenever this parity occurs, then you have to use uh, an algorithm. So before we start the algorithm, though, we got to make sure that we position everything the correct way. So uh, what you want to do is you want to place this, un, uh, or this, this piece that's not positioned correctly in the same layer as the other piece. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to position this piece so that it's in the same layer as the other piece. And you can do this any way you want. It doesn't matter. Okay, um, so now you can see it more clearly. Notice how these two edge pieces 
are in the same layer now. And these are the only two pieces that are not matched, that are not in the correct positions. All right, so now that they're in the same layer, now we can start our algorithm. And the way you want to position uh, this, uh, the cube uh, for this algorithm is that you want both of the pieces on the right, the, the, both of the pieces that are not matched, you want them on the right side of the cube. All right, and then after we do this, we are ready to start our algorithm. And the algorithm is left outer and inner layer counterclockwise, the upside 180 degrees, left outer and inner layer counterclockwise, once again upside 180 degrees, the front side 180 degrees, the left outer and inner layer counterclockwise, front side 180 degrees, right outer and inner layer clockwise, upside 180 degrees, right outer and inner layer counterclockwise, upside 180 degrees, and now the last step is the left outer and inner layer 180 degrees. So now notice how our two pieces that were not positioned correctly are matched and at this point you should have all of the edge pieces completely matched and ready to move on to the next step. So that leaves us with one more problem that might occur. This is problem number three. So here we have problem number three and this occurs when all of the edges are completely matched and you only have two pieces that are not matched and they're in, they're all in the same edge. Okay, notice how these are the only two pieces in the entire cube that are not matched and they're on the same edge. All right, so whenever this occurs, we need to perform uh, the following algorithm and what we're going to do is we're just going to flip these two pieces so that, um, so that uh, all the edges will be completely matched. And this is actually the same algorithm that we use in a 4x4 four four cube um, whenever a parity occurs. So if you do, if you've seen my 4x4 four four video, um, then you might be familiar uh, with this algorithm. And it goes something like this. It is the right outer and inner layer 180 degrees, the back side 180 degrees, upside 180 degrees, left outer and inner layer clockwise, upside 180 degrees, right outer and inner layer counterclockwise, upside 180 degrees, right outer and inner layer clockwise, upside 180 degrees, front side 180 degrees, right outer and inner layer clockwise, front side 180 degrees, left outer and inner layer counterclockwise, back side 180 degrees, and the right outer and inner layer 180 degrees. So now notice how our two pieces are flipped now and this edge is completely matched and our entire cube should also be completely matched. So those are the, the main problems that you'll run into whenever you are solving uh, the 5x5 five five, uh, Rubik's Cube and whenever you're trying to match all your edges. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, at this point the cube can actually be solved exactly like a 3x3. Three three. You're not going to run into any more parity, so if you know how to solve a 3x3 three three cube, um, at this point you should be able to solve uh, the 5x5. Uh, the five five. So I hope you're enjoying these, and until my next one, I will talk to you later.